Hi everyone, welcome back to my series of bonsai videos. It's now late December, almost New Year's, uh, mid to late winter for California. All the trees are in dormancy now and should be coming out of dormancy in a few weeks. So this gives us a valuable time window to perform heavy work, repottings, root work and such. Today what we're going to do is lift a Japanese black pine right here next to me that has been growing in the ground for approximately three years. This tree was purchased as a five gallon nursery specimen. It was planted in the ground for the purpose of thickening up its trunk for bonsai. And we actually let the top of it shoot up until it was a couple of feet higher than the top of this fence behind it. And then we cut it right here. We ran what we call a sacrifice branch. And then uh, this branch here is our second sacrifice branch from another year's growth. And now we're ready to take it out, put it in a bonsai pot, and start the bonsai. At this point, we've dug it out around most of its perimeter. We've got a couple of things going on. We've got a long tap root here that goes out too far and has to be cut. And now we're just going to feel around it figure out what's still holding it in. There's at least one more large root down there. You can see where we put bonsai soil in the ground to keep the root system close and compact. And then we'll just kind of go up under it, figure out what else is holding it in. Now the root system uh, it is still fairly circular. That's a result of the five gallon pot that it was in before. But there's definitely something down underneath that's holding it. And I think I found at least one of them. After a bit of a struggle, we've got the tree out of the ground. It had several long tap roots, so it's going to have to uh, probably spend about a year recovering from repotting and regrowing a more compact root system. So what we're going to do now is lift it, prune it just a little bit, and then put it in a bonsai pot. We are now in the process of potting our tree in a plastic training pot. As you can see, we haven't quite backfilled all the soil yet at this point. We're just getting it in, making sure the roots are comfortable, and establishing a planted position. We're using a mix that is a little bit heavy on organic matter, and the reason we're doing that is because pine trees have on the roots a symbiotic fungus and I have a sample here in my soil bin. I actually keep an active culture going. It's the white stuff on the uh, organic part of the soil here. This fungus helps the pine trees to digest the nutrients from the soil and uh, you get a much healthier pine tree if you include this in your soil composition so that's why we have it in here. It will help the tree get established much more easily. The other thing you may notice is, although it has the beginnings of a bonsai appearance, it doesn't look much like a bonsai yet, and there are some reasons for that. We're missing a couple of essential branches in this area, and we've left some superfluous branches in other places. And the reason we've done that is once the tree gets its health back, we're going to approach graft this branch here into the trunk up here, so that we have branches where we need them, but that's going to be a subject for a future video. Other than that, we do have a good first branch here, uh, a nice counterbalance branch here, and around in the back we have a good back branch here, and then we have some good uh, upper branches in here and up in here. So you can see that in a couple of years this uh, could develop into quite a stunning bonsai. So now we'll just finish back filling the soil, and that will conclude today's video. Now, putting it in with the trowel here instead of pouring it in straight out of the bucket, because I want to make sure 
we get it in all the cavities in the root ball so that we don't leave any air pockets. see that the mix is kind of damp right now. That's because we've had a heavy rainstorm come through in the recent past. And that's one of the reasons we can do this now is because the rain softened up the soil for us made it much easier to uh, dig out the tree. Okay, now we'll leave you with our usual slow 360 to show what the tree's development has been to this point. Thank you for watching, folks.